if you're operating in an environment where you're in the minority, you're hearing this day after day, and it's a weight you carry around, that weight gets to be an elephant you're carrying around. Last Wednesday, 200 students, faculty, and staff showed up for the Times Talk, ready to have an open conversation about the changes that need to take place in order to make the campus a safe place for all students. So here's what I'd like to ask you to do. If you're willing to be respectful in your interactions with each other today, this conversation this presented conversation, many different emotions among students, including frustration and anger, as well as encouragement and excitement. I'm actually excited about this option because there's a lot of people that don't believe that we have this type of behavior on campus, that we don't have people that have these racist opinions about all this. And I think this year is a very recent active event that shows that some people actually do feel this way. Uh, Students were anxious to let their opinions and, be heard. You know, talk about, you've seen it, we've all seen it, we're talking about it. Let's just go ahead and not even look at the app anymore, but let's keep talking about it and, and other ways to kind of move forward in the discussion. Um, and I think that's a good way to show that not only are we moving in the right direction, but we don't care about the exact app and whoever it was that posted those terrible and hateful messages. Um, so I think that's one way we can easily put on a flyer. Steps are already being app, taken towards initiating that, change on the Georgia so College campus through a number of outlets. And institutional equity and diversity are going to take out uh, a full page ad in the next colonnade that comes out. It will be after spring break. There's an online site that they can go to, anyone on campus can go to, to put their name to that statement. And I would like to have you know, the two paragraph statement and as many names as we can possibly. I would like to actually buy two facing full pages to, to hold all the names that, uh, that follow the statement. Um, I just, I'm very happy to see that we're finally having this conversation. For GC360 News, I'm Betsy Lamb.